O'Dow School looks different this year, so tonight we're taking a look at how some upstate districts are doing in terms of grades and testing thus far. With Pickens and Anderson County School Districts to get some answers. Fall semester will soon come to an end, so how are upstate students managing their studies amid a global pandemic? So we had twice as many failing grades as we did last year in elementary, and about the same in high school, about twice as many. Um, our, our really um, tough group that we were looking at was middle school, sixth and eighth grade. And in those uh, students, we had three times as many students failing um, this year as we did last year. Data shows during first quarter, there were more than 1,700 failing grades in elementary schools compared to the 880 last year. In middle school, there were more than 2,800 failing grades in the first nine weeks this year versus a little over 1,000 in the same time frame last year. But since then, the district has put systems in place for student success. The interventions that we could to work with those students, especially those that are virtually. Anderson School District 5 has worked directly with families to make sure students are where they need to be. Right now, students are taking measure of academic progress testing, also known as MAP, to help the district pinpoint deficiencies. I feel like we are pretty much on target with pacing um, as far as uh, what students have covered um, since we started school on September the 8th. In terms of failing grades, the school district of Pickens County says they don't have the data district-wide. However, they do say in terms of future standardized testing, they are not as prepared as they would be in a normal year and... I think that our students are in about as good shape as you can be given what we've been through. But you still have to put it in perspective. And that perspective is that trying to compare this year to a normal year is comparing apples to oranges. Both districts say during the pandemic they are capitalizing on building one on one relationships with students to ensure they meet academic growth. So I think they're able to be successful working with those students and uh, just filling in the gaps that those students might have. Pickens County, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Anderson School District 5 says roughly 1,500 students who are virtual will be returning back to in-person in February.